I do not want to offend you or anybody of you, but do not attempt to give monetary contributions to us because we have to preach the gospel freely. Gentlemen, in today's video, it's going to be a very interesting one because we're going to be answering the question, is it true that the more you give, the more you provide in the church, the more you donate, the more blessings it is that you will receive. We've all seen all of these televangelists. This is definitely prevalent in Brazil. If you're from Brazil, go ahead and comment down below how true this is. But is it actually biblical? We're going to be answering this question through this video of Brother Eli Soriano. But before we get started, my name is Ronald Aaron. I help build young lost men into strong soldiers of Christ through self-improvement and theological videos. You're definitely interested in that because you're watching videos like this one. So go ahead, scroll down right now, hit that notification bell and that subscribe button. It is a win-win for the both of us. That being said, let's dive straight into the video. Here in America, I've been in so many churches try to find the word of God which is going to lead me to where I want to go. And one thing they usually say is like, give it to the Lord. The more you give, the more you're going to live. Don't be cheap to God. And I ask myself, are you the Lord? They say, don't leave that $20, give five. Give 20. The more you give, the more you live. And I ask myself, if you are the Lord, I'm going to give it to you. My impression that I have gotten from his declaration is that their pastors is looking for a rightful church to join. But what he sees are pastors who are always uh, emphasizing on contributions, tithing, giving 10% of your income. Yeah. Even if it is th that is the only dollar left in your pocket, you have to give it to the pastor because if you do not give, you are cheating God. You are stealing something from God. That is the impression. So people keep on enriching their pastors. Pastors now are well off. Not like me. I'm very deep in indebtedness way back in our homeland. Because we do our services free. We do not collect, we do not collect contributions in gatherings like this. You are visitors. We do not accept monetary contributions from anybody. Uh, anybody, anybody, I must emphasize that. So forgive us. I, I do not want to offend you or anybody of you, but do not attempt to give monetary contributions to us because we have to preach the gospel freely. Let us put that in the book of Matthew chapter 10, chapter 10, verses 7 and 8. And as ye go preach, saying, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Heal the sick, cleanse the lepers, raise the dead, cast out devils. Freely ye have received, freely give. Is that right? It must be free. The best things in life are free. And the best thing in life is knowing God's truth. Amen. Amen. And it must be free. Now, to prove that it must be free, let us uh, trace back to some 2,000 years ago. 11.7 of the book of 2 Corinthians says, Have I committed an offense in abasing myself that ye might be exalted? Because I have preached to you the gospel of God freely. You see? He abased himself to exalt the people because he preached the gospel freely. See that? Not only free. If you can bear with us, we will even serve you merienda. That's our way of preaching the gospel because it is the way of the Bible. Let us read 3 John one and seven. seven because that for his name's sake they went forth taking nothing of the gentiles you see they went forth 
the first century Christians went for preaching, taking nothing from the Gentiles. But these preachers now, before they start to preach, they will invite you. You will find uh, envelopes there. Envelopes. A lot of envelopes whom you have to fill and give to the pastor because if you do not contribute, you will be stealing something from God. Now, he considers himself as God because he is the one using it. That's right. That's right. See? Yeah. And they will be using, for their convenience, they will be using the verses of the scriptures. Bring, bring, Give see? It to bring, <laughs> what are you going to bring? 310 of Malachi, bring ye all the tithes into the storehouse that they may be meat in mine house and prove me now herewith, said the Lord of hosts. Is this a commandment? Yes. To whom? To us. This is not a commandment to Christians. This is a commandment to the Israelites. Let us just read the following verses. 4.4 4 of the book of Malachi, that is 3.10. 4.4 4 says, Remember ye the law of Moses my servant, which I commanded unto him in Horeb for all Israel with the statutes and judgment. You see? The law of Moses, the law which Moses have written for Israel is for all Israel. It is not for Americans, neither for Filipinos. They are for all Israel. And tithing is... A commandment to the Israelites. Let us prove that. Hebrews chapter 7 verse 5 says, And verily they that are of the sons of Levi, who receive the office of the priesthood, mm. have a commandment to take tithes of the people according to the law, mm. that is, of their brethren, though they come out of the loins of Abraham. Who have that commandment or right to take tithes from the people. The sons of Levi who received the office of the priesthood, the Levite priest, have that commandment from the Lord to tithe because they do not have anything for their subsistence. They are commanded by the Lord to take tithes from the people, from their brethren in hell. But the office of the Levite priesthood was changed and the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. That is 7.5 of Hebrews. Let us read 7.12. For the priesthood being changed, there is made of necessity a change also of the law. The priesthood being changed, there is of necessity also a change of the law. So that law of the Levitical priesthood that includes the taking of tithes was changed. And what is the change that was made? Let us read from the New Testament. 2 Corinthians 9, 7 says... Every man, according as he purposeth in his heart, so let him give, not grudgingly or of necessity, for God loveth, loveth a, a cheerful, cheerful giver. giver. Not tither. Amen. That is the change in the law. I do not disagree with you that tithing is a commandment of God, but it was given during the time of Moses. It was meant for the Israelites. It was meant for the Levitical priest. But when that priesthood was changed, there is also a necessity for the law to be changed. And the priesthood now is the priesthood of our Lord Jesus Christ according to the priesthood of Melchizedek. And according to our priest, the high priest now is Christ. And his commandment tells us that every man, as he purposed in his heart, so let him give. Is it tithing? Your heart must decide, not the pastor. Amen? That is it. So, what you have encountered or researched or have searched for 15 years in America is a failure. You have failed to encounter a preacher that will tell you the whole truth and nothing but the truth. I hope that search will end this day, brother. 
And that is it, ladies and gentlemen, for this video. Hopefully you have liked it. And if you have made it to this point of the video, then you obviously have. So you might as well hit that subscribe button and the like button, hit that notification bell so you are notified anytime we upload a new video in order to push these types of contents out to more and more people to understand the truth about the Christian faith. That being said, of course, if you are going to comment, then make sure to keep it peaceful, cordial and respectful in the comment section down below. You can follow me on my Instagram at the Ronell Aaron. And of course, please, I urge each and every one of you to join my brotherhood, my free discord community of Christians who are not only into theology, but also into self improvement and binding the two together. We have a lot of young Christians in there who are trying to quit bad habits, who are understanding and wanting to learn more about theology and so much more in this community. Click the top link in the description down below and I will see you all in there. That being said, it has been Renal Aaron. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.